नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी आई क्यू आई एम फ्रेंड राहुल साईगांव द एजेंडा ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज कनेक्टेड टू इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिक्स और आई वुड से इंटरनेशनल सिक्योरिटी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्रोइंग नेवल केपेबिलिटीज ऑफ द चाइनीज विच इज नॉट जस्ट थ्रेट टू इंडिया बट अ थ्रेट टू एनी अदर प्लेयर हुज इंटरेस्टेड इन पीस एंड स्टेबिलिटी इन द इंडो पेसिफिक रीजन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर Chinese naval prowess with India to some extent, but main focus would be on comparing the Chinese naval prowess with that of United States of America. And what are we looking at ahead? Now you have a question in your mind, sir. Why are we discussing this at all? Why are we discussing about Chinese naval capability? Because recently a news has come that a Chinese vessel has begun its research at the Sri Lankan coast. Now you are thinking again, sir. You are talking about a research vessel. and now you are talking about chinese naval capability how are they connected now you will understand this in the latter half of the discussion but this is nothing new see this happens always because country each other countries or respective nations what they do they send their vessels for research and chinese they requested this way back in september itself now in september we had also sent to colombo we had sent ins delhi in and around this time itself the chinese had requested that we want to send a research vessel to sri lanka coast and we are going to research basically the parameters connected to indian ocean region right so the research would go on for many days around almost 70 to 80 days multiple research uh, experiments would be conducted chinese request came and at that time itself both india and us had raised reservations they were quite apprehensive of the chinese activities and everybody is apprehensive of chinese activities because they resort a lot to espionage Sri Lanka also raised their raised their apprehension and yes the research has been allowed but the duration and the number of experiments have been reduced and it is more of a collaborative model we'll talk about this news again in the latter half because of this particular news itself we are discussing about chinese capability so as i told you let's first compare the naval prowess of the chinese with other countries say with india again here i am not going to talk about numbers because if i talk about numbers we'll be really depressed if we dissect it we will or, or or it will be quite depressed depressive uh, for us right but if we look at even approaches and the progress india is way behind china in terms of naval capabilities china is continuously building the naval capabilities for a decade or so now whereas india its approach is such that the share of navy's budget it is actually going down if you look at 2012 2013 the share of navy's budget was 18% it has come down to 13% in 2019 2020 so this direction is something which is quite questionable many experts have also questioned this that the chinese navy's planning is way ahead they uh, or we cannot match them above sea or below sea as well now just to give you some numbers future number the indian navy expect we are going to have 170 to 175 ships by 2035 Right. We are, although we have a very ambitious target of 170 ships by 2027 but experts suggest that by 2035 we might reach there if you look at chinese by 2025 itself they are going to have more than 400 ships they are building both the on sea capability as well as below sea capability so it would be better to compare chinese naval capability with another player united states of america which is considered as the foremost naval power in the world the chinese have already beaten them in terms of numbers in 2020 itself in 2020 china had more than 360 ships us had less than 300 now if we look closely you will see that china had some disadvantages especially chinese have numbers if you look at the number of cruisers destroyers frigates corvettes and the number of missile armed patrol ships these are high all right so chinese have numbers but if we look closely china has only two aircraft carriers whereas us has 11 aircraft carriers i can add one more here because one more is in fitting mode for china so they will have three aircraft carriers very soon but us has 11 aircraft carriers so that is what the military analysts highlight that china may have numbers but in terms of naval power they are still behind the americans one with respect to aircraft carriers and the other one with respect to under sea capabilities that is submarines yes they have many diesel powered attack submarines but diesel powered attack submarines can be tracked 
quite easily. All right. China is continuously building more and more nuclear powered attack submarines. It has 12 nuclear power attack submarines and it has 8 ballistic missile submarines. Some cruise missile submarines are under development. So, if you ask any security expert or military analyst, they will tell you, yes, China has numbers. But when you talk about quality, that is always questionable with the Chinese. And in terms of aircraft carriers, in terms of submarines, their capability is still lower. But China is slowly and steadily growing. Why? In the last decade or so, China has shown sheer naval dominance in terms of development, in terms of ship building. Since 2018, they are the largest ship builders in the world. In 2018 itself, China held 40% of ship building market. Now, let me give you a perspective. Let me put this into perspective to explain you what China did in 2019. The number of ships that China built only in 2019, this was during peacetime, this was more than what the United States of America built cumulatively from 1941 to 45. You might say the comparison is not warranted because one is peacetime, one is wartime. But during wartime, you tend to work more and more, you tend to build more. So the Chinese numbers are quite impressive. Now, shipbuilding is something that China is getting really good at. And in terms of numbers, sheer numbers, if you combine the numbers of Germany, India, Spain and United Kingdom, you will find them together with this, China is way ahead even by combining the shipbuilding of these countries as well. That is what is said. China can produce warship faster than any other country. And that is why many people believe that whatever were the issues or whatever were the gaps between US and China in terms of Navy as well, China is going to catch them up very, very easily. All right. Now, this is the basic comparison. Now, let's go back to the news and understand what is the problem of having a research vessel at the Sri Lankan coast as well. But before that, before that, study IQ's P2I program batch 3 English is going to begin from November 8th. This is the most comprehensive program for preparation. If you are preparing for 2024 or 25 or 26 examination, you can choose validities according to your convenience. Study IQ's motto is quality education at affordable rate. The complete course for prelims, mains, interview, it starts with 23999. Just visit our website, enroll. I'll see you in the class. Now, as I told you, why we are discussing this? Because this news came recently. All right. It's a very innocuous looking news where a Chinese vessel, it begins its research, right? Research of the Sri Lankan coast. But if you look at, if you look at the Chinese, under the garb of research, they conduct their espionage experiments or they conduct espionage and they collect a lot of data. Now, as I told you, during September, August, September, Chinese had requested it, but because of India's concern, what Sri Lanka did was they reduced the number of days and they reduced the number of experiments. And now the research is going on in a collaborative way. Yes, Chinese are involved, but along with Chinese, there are Sri Lanka's scientists who are involved, scientists from National Aquatic Resources Research and University of Ruhun are also involved here. But the question is, sir, what is the problem? What is the problem with research? Now, if we look at the vessel itself, the vessel which the Chinese have sent is Xi'an 6. Now, Xi'an 6 has been involved in a lot of research in Indian Ocean region and many experts suggest, say for instance, Indian Navy Commodore Anil Jaising, he suggests that, that China has conducted many experiments in the, in the Indian Ocean region. In, in, they have not entered in the, I would say they have not entered in the Indian waters, but in the exclusive economic zone, they have conducted many experiments. And he says even Xi'an 6, the research vessel which has come now, it has been continuously monitoring or conducting or co conducting experiments and collecting data where they are collecting data which are which are which is collected which is connected to uh, the oceans they they collect hydrographic data temperature pressure etc which are very very relevant for submarine operations so what we can understand is under the garb of these research projects or research experiments china is collecting data to build its submarine capabilities in Indian Ocean region. And if you look at different researches, different research, different papers published, China is now 
in 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 its stage of third generation submarines china has already developed second generation type 93 type 93a they have given the name as shang now here there is no difference between china or usa or india because we also have yes we have diesel powered submarines we also have uh, the akula class submarine from russia we are developing our own nuclear powered submarine arihant is there arigat is there but the chinese research right now or chinese development right now is going on in the third generation type 095 ssgn now this ssgn is cruise attack cruise missile based attack submarine and ssbn is the ballistic missile sub submarines we also have arihant as one of this this is the ballistic missile submarine and these are in the advanced stages and probably because of this they are collecting a lot of information they or the south china sea uh, i would say is already theirs right so they they have data there in the indian ocean region they are collecting more and more hydrographic data so that their submarines do not face any issues here and if these are developed in in numbers and in terms of their sophistication what experts highlight is their traceability would be very very low now as i told you what happens with the diesel powered submarines is they are more louder and that is what that is what we had for example even even the chinese had a han shang etc shang is the second generation one which can be detected very easily or their traceability is quite easy but as it becomes more and more quieter more and more quieter it becomes tough for others to other others to trace where the submarine is and that is what are the new classes the akula classes uh, the severod wins ssn from uh, uh, from russia they are more quieter so it becomes very tough and what experts suggest is the new new generation or the third generation 095 ssgn and 096 ssbn they are really quiet now if that is the scenario that is a the scenario then it is going to be really tough not just for india but for any other party to to i would say control or to counter the chinese counter would be more appropriate and that is why that is why what is highlighted chinese upward mobility in terms of submarine it has become a cause of concern for everybody for everybody so right now a research vessel has come probably in few years we will see submarines or probably we will not see submarines and we will not be able to detect those submarines so predominantly for india it is a big threat and that is why for peace and stability in indian ocean region as well as indo pacific the capabilities of cod will be very very important it, it will become imperative for the democratic countries like india usa japan australia to collaborate and ensure that there is some sort of counter to the chinese navy chinese naval problem so that is the basic discussion for today all right so uh, let's let's conclude this discussion indian what, what is the conclusion out of this that indian navy and indian naval planning has to match up to the chinese we see maybe not in terms of numbers but in terms of in terms of quality and in terms of uh, the output the we have to compete with china in the upcoming time that is the ultimate conclusion thank you for watching this video jai hind